Parasitic fighter aircraft is a unique branch in the history of fighter aircraft development. Today, we no longer see parasitic fighter aircraft in active service, except in museums. However, the parasitic fighter aircraft is not a very obscure weapon series. It was developed for about half a century and has multiple models. The fundamental reason for the appearance of the parasitic fighter aircraft is the early limitations of aviation technology, which made it difficult for fighter aircraft to balance combat capabilities and long range. As early as World War I, the British used parasitic fighter aircraft in actual combat. They used a larger seaplane to carry a small, fast reconnaissance aircraft, expanding the reconnaissance range through this, give it a ride, method. In fact, during World War I, the warring countries had already realized the importance of escorting. Escorting uses fighter aircraft to protect slow-moving bombers or aircraft, allowing them to complete their bombing missions smoothly. However, the problem was that bombers and airships often had longer ranges, and ordinary fighter aircraft could not escort them for the entire journey. In the 1920s and 1930s, the parasitic fighter aircraft received a certain level of attention, and various countries successively developed some equipment with practical value. During this period, the parasitic fighter aircraft can be divided into airship parasitic fighter aircraft and bomber parasitic fighter aircraft based on the carrier they are attached to. Airship parasitic fighter aircraft also originated during World War I, but at that time, they were still in the experimental stage. This type of equipment can be simply described as a hook structure installed on the belly of the airship, with the fighter aircraft hanging there. As the airship flew to a high altitude area, the fighter aircraft could be released when needed to perform escort or attack functions. However, releasing the aircraft required the airship to maintain a stable flight speed. Otherwise, if the fighter aircraft were released from a slow or stationary airship, it would just plummet. Airships such as the Type 23 airship and the Macon airship have carried parasitic fighter aircraft. However, these were mainly later modifications. The true airborne aircraft carrier should be the USS Akron, a helium-filled airship that entered service in the early 1930s. It was specifically designed as an airborne aircraft carrier, capable of carrying five aircraft. It participated in various training and other tasks, but unfortunately, it was damaged in a storm and crashed into the sea in April 1933. In contrast, the development of parasitic fighter aircraft mounted on bombers lasted longer. The early successful example should be the airborne aircraft carrier modified from the TB-3 bomber. This large bomber could carry up to 5 I-16 fighter aircraft on its wings, which could be released to engage in combat in the air and return to the mother ship to be redocked and refueled, and even refuel from the mother ship via a pipeline for secondary combat preparations. However, this operation was very dangerous, and it was difficult for pilots without special training to complete the docking process. Interestingly, this series of parasitic fighter aircraft participated in actual combat and executed bombing missions during the early stages of the Soviet-German War. By the time of World War II, airships had largely departed from military use, although a small number of military airships later appeared, and the combat range of conventional aircraft had greatly increased. However, parasitic fighter aircraft did not disappear. During World War II, rocket-powered fighter aircraft appeared. These types of aircraft had excellent thrust, but their engines had a very short continuous operating time, and their endurance was measured in minutes. In order to allow these fighter aircraft to fulfill their combat value, the idea of designing them as parasitic fighter aircraft was born. When carried by the mother ship, they could reach further airspace to engage in combat, and when necessary, releasing the fighter aircraft could minimize unnecessary fuel consumption. One representative of this type of parasitic fighter aircraft is the Mi-328. After World War II, parasitic fighter aircraft did not disappear, but many countries had abandoned them. The XF-85 was a mini-jet-powered parasitic fighter aircraft designed to be carried by the B-36 bomber. Its development can be traced back to the end of World War II, 
and the military hoped that it could provide air protection for large strategic bombers. The relevant research and development work ended in the autumn of 1949. After that, modified F-84 parasitic fighter aircraft appeared, as well as some equipment carried by the mother ship, such as unmanned reconnaissance aircraft. These types of reconnaissance aircraft, which are not manned fighter aircraft, can also be classified as a category of parasitic aircraft. Although the parasitic fighter aircraft has a development history of almost half a century, its essence is nothing more than a compromise in the pursuit of higher aviation technology. At that time, people were unable to effectively extend the combat range of fighter aircraft, so they used the parasitic method to solve this problem. The drawback of this method is obvious, the parasitic fighter aircraft is subject to the carrying capacity of the mother ship, so its size and weight need to be controlled, which weakens its combat power. After carrying the parasitic fighter aircraft, the mother ship's burden increases, which in turn weakens its other capabilities, such as the amount of ammunition it can carry. The continuous development of aviation technology has eliminated the use of parasitic fighter aircraft. Not only has the combat range of fighter aircraft continued to increase, but bombers themselves also emphasize breakthrough capabilities, relying on their own performance to penetrate enemy defenses. Later, stealth aircraft technology was also developed. Under these multiple pressures, the parasitic fighter aircraft naturally lost its value.